hello. This video is a continuation of the previous video, which was about how to manually calculate the ground bearing pressure for a mobile crane. The data shown in this video comes from the calculations carried out in the previous video. If you have not yet watched the video, I recommend watching it first in order to understand the source of the data. I will include the hyperlink to that video in the description. In the part 1 of this video, we computed the outrigger pressure that occurs when the boom of the mobile crane is facing or lifting is performed towards the rear. This is the list of the value that we get from that calculation. Moment at boom. Moment of upper structure. Vertical load of upper structure. Total vertical load and load per out trigger. After getting all result, we get the pressure in each out trigger on front and on rear of the mobile crane. Now, in this video, we will be focusing on the calculation of the load in each out trigger when performing a side lifting operation. I would appreciate it if you would give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Furthermore to that, you may also follow me on my Facebook page, the link is included in the description. This is the sample spreadsheet I made to calculate the outrigger pressure. Later in this video you will see how it works. In this example, we will perform two calculations. In case number 1, the boom is positioned at a 90 degree angle, whereas in case number 2, the boom is positioned at a 45 degree angle. Case number 1 calculation, boom is facing at 90 degree. Lifting over the side. Please take a note of all the formula, and have your calculator ready so that you can follow along with my computation. Now start to calculate the front out trigger pressure at boom side of the mobile crane as show in the slide. Next, start to calculate the front out trigger pressure at counterweight side of the mobile crane as show. Next, Start to calculate the rear outrigger pressure at boom side of the mobile crane as show. Apologize for mistyping for the title on top. Next, start to calculate the rear outrigger pressure at counterweight side of the mobile crane as show. Now, 
to check the result if correct or no. The total pressure must be the same result of total weight of crane plus load. To get this, add the outrigger result for front and rear, boom and counter weight side. Case number 2 calculation, boom is facing at 45 degree. Lifting over the side. Before you get the outrigger pressure when lifting at over the side at 45 degree. Calculate first the moment of all loads about outrigger center of gravity over the rear. Next, calculate the moment of all loads about outrigger center of gravity over the side. After getting all the value for all outrigger over the side and rear, start to calculate the load in each outrigger. Now, Calculate front outrigger pressure at boom side of the mobile crane. Next, Calculate front outrigger pressure at counterweight side of the mobile crane. Next, calculate rear outrigger pressure at boom side of the mobile crane. Next, calculate rear outrigger pressure at counterweight side of the mobile crane. Now, check the total load in each outrigger by adding each value. The total result must be the same weight of the crane plus the load. This is the spreadsheet I created to calculate the outrigger pressure for a mobile crane. Simply enter the required data into the highlighted area, and the system will automatically compute the load distribution on each outrigger. Below, you can input the swing angle for the crane when doing side lifting.